everybody, welcome back. So excited that you're sticking with me this week as we're dealing with a theme that is a four-letter word that people just can't stand. It offends people. It rocks people's world. That four-letter word is rescue. <laughs> just have a little fun, right? All right, so here we are on a journey this week. We're talking about rest, right? It's something that some people know about, some people know a little bit about, some people don't know anything about, and some people don't want to know anything about it. It's rest, right? So I would like to share with you a few things today about rest that you may not have considered. So the word that we're going to talk about today, our keyword is stuck. And many times people talk about how you can get unstuck. All these programs you hear about unstuck. I get unstuck here. You're stuck here. You're stuck there. Stuck, 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 stuck. Sticky term, right? Stuck. So let's talk a little bit about what are some things that really mess up rest. Stuck yeah, man! Stuck yeah! Here's an idea. Hey, babe, you seen where, where we got some of that, that rest inhibitor? The rest inhibitor. Yeah. I don't care which ones. We got a bunch. I know they got fame, money, pride. It's a big one. <laughs> a big one, pride. Ignorance. Well, that's not bad. It's about half gone, though. Lack of self-control. Well, that one comes in a five-gallon bucket. Yeah, food addiction. Here's one that says late night eating and late night TV. Um, what about false expectations for a rest inhibitor? Is that a good one? That's all I saw out here. I can't find any other ones. I was looking for the other ones. Like, do you know what the status one is? Status. All right, so when we're talking about things that are getting in the way of a rest, that's what I call a rest inhibitor. For us guys that, maybe some gals that go out and we do some cars and metal work or whatever, they have rust inhibitor. So my little catchphrase, rest inhibitor. All right, so we talked about some of those things here in this video, a little fun thing I did uh, outside in the garage. And there are many things that can be considered a rest inhibitor. There are things that actually deter you from having rest in your life. Now, there was a point in my life when I was going 175 miles an hour, doing 18,000 things at one time, and it wasn't really as obvious to me until one day when my assistant said, I don't know how you do what you do. You do it well, you get it done, but I don't know how you make it happen. And it wasn't a compliment. It was a fact that my life looked insane to her. There was no way that my life was simple, memorable, or reproducible. So I had to make an immediate change in my life, and I made a major shift to change some things that I got rid of rest inhibitors in my life to understand the value of incorporating rest in my life. So here's what I want you to do today. Today I'd like you to look at some things in your life and find if there are some rest inhibitors in your life. And the other thing is to stare some of the rest inhibitors in the face that you already know you have, but you haven't dealt with. All right, so if you're brave enough today, down here, I would like you to share some things that you consider rest inhibitors in your life, things that are getting you stuck and you'd like to get unstuck so you can experience a life of rest, which makes you more, as we said, productive and fruitful in your life. All right, stay tuned. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up this week. It's been fantastic so far. Thank you for all the engagement, all the comments. We're having a blast. There's more to come, and I've got a great article at the end of the week coming out that I'd like to give to you that wraps all of this up with a pretty little bow. All right, thanks for staying too. We'll see you tomorrow with the next episode about rest. Get some rest, y'all. Flip out! What the stock? Stuck yeah, man! Said nobody ever. <laughs> <laughs>